So basically we are at Holiday House and so basically things are happening. What? My two little Wish me luck. Punch the camera. It's the start of a new vlog. What's our song that we sing? It's a new vlog, it's a new day. Yeah, what he said. So I kind of wanted to give an update on little sis and her potty training saga, extravaganza, whatever you want to call it. I've been reading, we've both been reading all of the comments that you are sending us regarding potty training her. Since our last video, some progress has been made and something just clicked a couple of days ago and she's in pull-ups now. We call them her big girl panties and she doesn't go pee pee or poo poo in her pull-ups anymore. Whenever she does go pee pee in her pull-ups, cause like if she just can't hold it or we're not around a toilet, she'll go, I shall we and she feels bad about it and it's the sweetest thing. So thank you guys for all of the well wishes for sis. In other news, PJ is on a cleaning rampage and he is cleaning our entire house. He just organized the office area and it looks so good. Plenty of space to work. This also, we put a TV in here a couple months ago. It also um, is where the kids play Xbox and yeah, it looks very clean and good in here. Where sis does her iPad. She has her own iPad. I'm doing I ready. Older doing I ready for yeah. school. And the house is looking great. All thanks to PJ. Thanks. Thanks. That door is about to shut. Hey, I'm about to hmm. What? What, what do you have? time has come for my babies to move on. So in 2015, I dug up these five little baby ginkgo trees from our last house. And I planted them in this pot and they've just been living in this pot for a long time. And they've kind of stopped growing because I think they're all root bound. So the plan is to take these and I'm gonna bag them and then we're gonna take them to the land and they're gonna have a new home at the land okay so getting them out of this pot may be a little bit more challenging than i thought but yeah next time you see them they'll be at the land Hello. Hello. Hello on this video, but we're making a final lip. <laughs>
I got the tractor stuck for the first time since owning it. I knew it was going to happen. Luckily, the guy who I hired to do all the land management and dig the two ponds that we're putting in oh, hey, baby was here working. <laughs> we told sis that we may be getting cows. That's another story. Anyways, he was here working on one of his pieces of equipment and he pulled it out. All right, come back over here, sis. Wait, over there. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> yes, it has. Yeah, PJ did not stress. Like, I was, honestly, I was kind of worried thinking this is going to ruin the whole day. We're going to not recover for this for hours. And then PJ just kept his cool. I think I was almost more stressed than you were. I was really stressed when it first happened because the way that the tires came into this little creek, they dug out the mud so that all of the water was rushing into the tractor. And it was like, the tractor had made like a, almost a dam and the water was filling up and almost getting into the engine, it was freaking me out. But, so the land has these ferns all over it, which I love. So I am saving all of the ones that I find and we're gonna plant them in the woods that we're keeping. We brought the kids out to the land today to have them swim in the mud pit in the future pond or where the pond's gonna be. If you remember a couple of videos ago, we talked about just the reason that we want to be out here more is to let the kids get muddy and, and get dirty because they can't really do that at our um, house in town. So today we let them get as muddy as they wanted. My older brother was jumping in the puddles, basically submerging himself in the water. Sis, however, was not really feeling it. Uh-oh, are you stuck again? Daddy. Oh no! <laughs> here, here! I think we have determined that she does not enjoy the land as much as everyone else does don't you think yeah when she gets stuck whether it be briars or a hay bale or mud she's she, about to get stuck she expects us to drop everything that we're doing and scoop her up out of it. And she will scream at the top of her lungs and start crying. And um, so yeah, man, that's a good point. I mean, her yeah. legs are just so tiny. It would it would be hard to to get around the land. Um, are you stuck, sis? Okay. Do you see everyone? Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. So what's it after? What are you doing? You're eating the mud? Yeah. Is it good? Okay. Because why not? <laughs> why not? Why did you just hit her? No. Why'd you hit your baby? <laughs> I am calling it a day over at the downtown cottage. I pretty much finished what I wanted to as far as getting the bathroom ready for the plumbing. They're gonna come tomorrow to finish it up. And I should be able to get the vanity installed and all of that other stuff later. Okay, I'm going home now and then I'm gonna go out to the land because they are clearing 
a little bit more and then I have to finalize what pond we are doing. I am dirty. I have to finalize the pond that we're doing beside the building. So basically we are at Holiday House and so basically things are happening. What? Basically everything is happening. That's not what you were supposed to say. <clears throat> Our refrigerator that was in storage is now in Holiday House. Holiday House. Yep. We're still laying out the kitchen but we wanted a full size refrigerator because we may spend the night this weekend for the first time ever, 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 but we need to get groceries because, and we need a freezer, and we only have this little teeny, itty bitty refrigerator right now. Yeah, that's been getting us through the last couple of months. So we hooked up the, you said that we hooked up the trailer, brought the fridge over, kiddos are playing outside. All our food, we're gonna pick that up, we got here. It's a beautiful night, have you shown the gentle viewers? I have, I have shown you the pretty view. So PJ has a look going on. I like to call it uh, beach chic. I like to call chic. it thrown together. I think it's cute. So um, we have been coming out to Holiday House like every day this week almost. And tonight's gonna be the last night hopefully before we, or I guess tomorrow will be the last night before we can hopefully spend the night the first time. I know we're out of like everything, aren't we? We have no snacks. Nope. So PJ is standing in what is currently Holiday House's dining room. And then the kitchen's over here, but as of- Might do a little switcheroo! As of like 20 minutes ago, he was like, what if we just made this the kitchen instead of the dining room? And I don't think that's a bad idea because the living room is here. And if this was the living room, and then this is the kitchen. It has a very nice flow. You can be in the kitchen. Maybe you do an island here and still see people over here in the living room. Um, the other day, PJ got a great idea to subscribe to Discovery Plus because we were needing a little JoJo in our lives. You wanna show everyone? Here, hold up your... Hold up the photo. Beautiful. So anyways, we subscribed to the Discovery Plus. We binge all of the new Fixer Up or Welcome Home episodes. Obsessed, Joanna has really stepped her game up and it's also giving us tons of inspiration for some upcoming projects that we're doing. Anyways, Joanna also has a new cooking show called Magnolia Table with Joanna Gaines. We watched it last night and in the first episode she made a Lebanese dish called Fatayer. I think I'm saying that right. But anyways, as you guys may or may not know, my mother is Lebanese and so I am half Lebanese and I grew up not really liking the food, but I, whatever Joanna made last night looked delicious and I wanted to make it too. So I'm in the kitchen today. PJ is drawing up some kitchen floor plans for Holiday House. Holiday House, extremely excited about that. And then I'm over here about to make Tire. I don't know why I'm struggling saying that so much, but um, I'll show you the recipe in the description. It's gonna be yummy. So here we go. So for tire is like a meat pie and she took a lot of shortcuts in how she made it and just used canned biscuits. And speaking of wow. Joanna. Anyways, that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna put all of this into the biscuit dough and pop it in the oven. All right, they are finished. They look and smell so good. For some reason the color, yeah, this is more 
of their color. They're kind of like a golden brown. I may have overcooked them a little bit, but I still have two more left over that I'm going to pop in the oven. So we'll see if those come out as well as these did. So we're home, we just got home. It's been raining nonstop all day. And, yeah. and the power went off. It sure did. But are we scared? No. No, we're not. But we have ice cream. We have Mimi looking like a little demon dog. Sis went to sit dudes and got her nails done. Let's see your nails. Love. Wearing Situ signature red. Oh, and Situ gave her a little heart box. Yeah, and we can do shadows on oh, that. Oh, and Situ gave her a watch. We always come home with goodies from Situ's house, don't we? Bye bye, you. <laughs> bye bye, you. I was with Dad and the boys, and we went out. Oh, yeah. We went to a couple of stores to see about lights. Guess what? We found some chairs for us. And they can put their things up when you lean back. Yeah. That sound good? Yeah. You want to get, you want to get <gasps> Oh, wow. Fun. <laughs> We're back in business, guys. Oh, everything's coming back up. Wait, is this supposed to be refrigerated? I just took it out. Yeah, I was going to have a little cheese and wine in the dark, but we're back, guys. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Listen to older brother and give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> That's what he was doing. Yeah. I feel like he's too young to be uh, begging for likes. <laughs> Exactly. Delete unfollow. <laughs> and, and one of my poopy scooter. All right. On that, note, scooter. on that note, on that note, we are saying good night, right? Hey guys. Good night. The, um, the lights work. Judy Craig. We don't really give the kids sugar, but the boys got ice cream tonight. If you can tell. <laughs> they kill me too. Sis has some cookies. Yep. Rocking yeah. crazy. Okay, good night. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, in person they look a lot more like concrete than on FaceTime. So me and Sissy splurged a little bit, but everything that I bought was on clearance. And I knew the store manager, and after we talked a long time about foster fostering because she adopted a 13 year old a couple years ago. So exciting. She gave me a 30% discount on top of the clearance items. Look how pretty these are, though. So these are going um, to, well not these specifically, but we have two that are gonna go to the downtown cottage that we are working on for staging, because we're gonna make the front of the house look really cute because we're doing a partnership with Benjamin Moore. And um, I think it's gonna be, was it this size? Or I think it's gonna end up being this, this size. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite size. But the big ones are going to the land for something up there. Are they heavy? They're not too bad. They uh, they look like concrete, but they're, yeah, I mean, they're, they're kind of heavy, but I think they're like a uh, fiber glass with some kind of plaster. Got a dog and then Lots of goodies. These are for the uh, downtown cottage staging. Cute. I think these are good size. These are the same mm -hmm. height as the one that you liked but they're spiral instead of. Yeah, I like those. PJ has a, a habit of coming home with a bunch of goodies and surprising me and yeah. <laughs> Just keeps on coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see what they look like. I mean, 50 bucks and then $18 off. So what is that? Like 32 bucks? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So we're getting everything all packed up. I wrote that on the list. So we have our list written out here, food, what we're having, 
and I'm getting it all packed up for our first night, official night on the land. PJ has a, was getting the tools that we need to start demoing, is that right? Did you get them? Well, I got the tools to hopefully start installing. We have so many windows, I just wanna install some. So mm -hmm. I would love to get some windows installed this weekend. Yeah, that would be nice. So I think we're almost all packed up and we just have to get the stuff for the animals, load them all in. Yeah. Well, we made it to Holiday House in one piece. I have dinner in the oven. The boys are running back from the building, the metal building. And what are you gonna do? You look like you're ready to work. I sure am. What are you, what are you I doing? don't know. I'm just gonna do it all. Do it all. Do it all. We have the girls here with us. They are adjusting. Alistair is hiding underneath the couch somewhere. This feels good, it feels cool. It's like our, I mean it is, it's our first night here. We are tucking the kids in and all the pets. The big girls are here. It's so dark, you can't really see them. Anyways, we have the big dogs. We have the little dogs. The big dogs are in the crate because they will eat the cat. Kitty Kitty is hiding under the couch. He has not taken much of a like to the holiday house. We have the kids. Pellets in the floor. Big brother is currently sleeping on our bed, but he is moving to the couch when me and daddy go to bed. But me and daddy are gonna watch TV before we go to bed. I'm doing a makeshift shower curtain with curtain clips because we don't have a shower curtain or the clips. I guess we have a shower curtain, but we don't have the clips. Anyways, I'm gonna take a shower now and then kind of relax. Good morning from Holiday House. So last night was our first night spending the night at Holiday House. The kiddos are currently eating breakfast, well the two younger kiddos are, and older brother went with PJ and the big dogs somewhere on the land. I actually, I don't know what they're doing, but they're roaming the land. I just finished my coffee. Yeah, it's kind of a cloudy day. I wish it was a little sunnier, but luckily the rain is holding off, so we'll be able to go out there and explore a little bit. What big? Are you guys eating? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, yeah, I think it's gonna be a nice relaxing day. I hope so anyways. So last night we spent the first night at Holiday House and then I woke up this morning to start demoing the old siding so that I can put OSB in new siding. I ran into my first problem on this wall because my Sawzall, which is this, I used to demo, went through the electrical. So now I have no power. So I have to go into the attic through that hole. Luckily, I think I have just enough wiring to fix it but I'm gonna have to kill the power and go in the attic now to fix it. So, wish me luck. I think these are dino bones. I think you're right. Well, hello there, Mr. Handyman. This took so long, but I really like how it turned out. So to update you guys on what I did, 
Originally, this was a side porch to the house. It was a laundry room. It was not insulated or heated and cooled. So we turned it into a porch. I added the door. I had to do some rewiring. Julie is not happy. So basically I added an outlet here behind this planter. Same on this side. There used to be just a light up here. So I pulled the wire down to wire it here, but then I had to wire a new wire that came across through here so that I can do the same type of light here. I think I eliminated the pendant. Really? Just because it's not, I don't know if it's enough. Clearance? Clearance, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I think, honestly, I love these lights. I love the shape of them. I think they'll look cute by themselves. Yeah, because we are going to have the big Edison bulb lights out mm -hmm. here, so I don't think we'll need it, but cozy. I'm loving it. I'm so proud of you. It looks amazing. I love the black, because we may do this house either white or black. Or green. Yeah, or like a really dark green. Or cream or tan. Oh, sure. Yeah. The big girls are in the truck. Last night, they kept me up all night. Normally they sleep in our basement and I don't hear them, but they were in the living room and it's a small house and I heard them. So I'm gonna take them to the big 5,000 square foot metal building and that's where they're going to sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect temperature outside. I think it's like 70. Yeah, and it's like breezy. It feels so nice. I love listening to the frogs. Can you hear them on camera? I was telling Thomas that the, the sound of the frogs is what I grew up to. So every spring around this time, you would start hearing the frog, frogs, frog, <laughs> frog, 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 frog. Well, I'm gonna take the girls. I'll be back. Okay. Me. You want to hold the bug? Yes. Oh, I do. <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah. Oh. So, good morning. It is our last morning. Yep. Yep. Here at Holiday House. We have to go back home. Tonight was yep. a better night. Last night? Yep. Oh yeah, last night was a better night. It's morning and I'm cool. For you. Oh yeah. Last night was a better night for kitty, you. Kitty kitty kept up, Thomas. I had the earplugs in. That is what made it a better Genius. night. Genius. We're going to get the big dogs out of the building mm -hmm. to bring them back home to give them some breakfast. Yep. And then we're going to give the kids some breakfast. Yeah, it was, we were talking. It's like, it's neat. I feel like this is this little mini trip is just what our family needed. It's neat to wake up in a new place for the first time in over a year. <clears throat> it felt like a little mini vacation. Yeah. I don't really want to leave. I know I'm not ready to leave either. We have a point. We have an appointment tomorrow, then appointment on Thursday. So we're gonna. The plan I think is to go home for a couple days and then come back, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, we have to stay home Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday we're kind of free, so we may be able to come back next week mm -hmm. or long weekend. Mm -hmm. So the plan is for one day, this to be a pond. Not one day. Like there's, soon. There, so there, I talked him into starting on this pond before they start on the big one, just because we want something to swim in this summer. And this one should fill up. A lot of people and my sister included were talking about mosquitoes being out here. Yeah, but there's things that you can do. So they have these, um, I forget what they're called types of birds sweepers or I don't know but you can get these you can grow gourds and cut holes in them and it's like the perfect nesting boxes which my uncle has and it those types of birds eat like hundreds of mosquitoes a day so it's at dad's property okay and he has no mosquitoes mm -hmm. and the birds come back every single year swallows I don't know what they're called to be determined are you kidding me? Um, yeah. Birds eat mosquitoes. What's that for? Are you kidding me? Oh. 
I'm just going to punch the camera. Wow. And, and I don't like a baby. I just want it on your camera. Thank you. Thank you. We are rolling. We're rolling, y'all. Mm -hmm. We are packed up. I've got my tools packed to take back to the downtown cottage so I can work on it this week. And I'm finished with this for today. I really like how it turned out. I found these planters on clearance. I really like them. I bought it a lot, which I think it's in this spot. <laughs> and we actually bought these lights for the downtown cottage, but we had them and we were like, well, let's just put them up. So we may buy the same ones for the other house that we're working on. It's mm -hmm. finished. I added two outdoor outlets behind the planters. There used to only be one light in the center, so I rewired it to here and then brought it over to here. They're controlled by a switch inside. Yes, PJ, he was telling me, is an electrician now, mm -hmm. so watch out. I typically only like install light fixtures. I don't ever rewire stuff. So this was branching out of my comfort zone, but it was all pretty easy because it was pretty much here already. And the wire was left over from when I demoed the, the room. And it was all the same wire, so that worked out. This is gonna be, once I get it taped off and sealed off with the, uh, the water membrane. It actually technically has a water membrane, but I need to tape this off. This was extra. I wanted to hand it. This is Go, going to yeah. be a hardy siding here. And then there will be a really nice beam here, beam column, same on the corners. And then I was telling Thomas, I think I want to rip this deck out completely, concrete a pad that's like at this level with a nice two step into the door, or maybe it would just be one step, but, and then, yeah. I have a big plan, but I know I'm so don't. excited. I could listen to you talk about it all day. And we were like talking about color schemes and what we want to do. I know that's so far off, but I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Especially now that the lights are up. I was telling PJ, let me zoom out. This is like the most welcoming front porch, at least to me right now. It probably looks, doesn't look like that on camera, but it feels very welcoming. And like, you just want to walk in and relax. So you've yeah. done such a great job. When I redid the siding over there, I'm going to redo this. And we're doing board and batten siding or what? I think we're gonna, we have hardy, uh, hardy lap siding left over from a job. And I'm pretty sure it's enough to do this whole front porch. So it'll probably be lap siding, seven inch lap. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds amazing. Like, Just like horizontal siding? Yeah. Cute. And then we're debating on whether we want to paint it white, paint it black. We don't know. TBD. Toby, Toby.